Well, hi guys, Emma again. One of the projects I've been sort of sketching up and trying to make work for the last little while is something to hold a camera out of the way and that I can use at all my benches and is practical and easy to fold up if I don't need it or if I need the space and something that's portable and something I can walk under and something that's not too intrusive which most of the options that I've seen are so I've come up with this what I found is a surveyor's tripod a Lufkin one it's pretty solid I had it for another interest which is large format film photography and to be honest it's too heavy to carry around so it's been sitting in the corner ever since what I did was was get a a, um, a friend to cut out this half inch acrylic disc and sit on the top where the clamp should be and I've just sicker flexed it in place so that's plenty good enough and it's got a 3.8 bolt underneath and this man Frodo ball head which is way too good for this but it was on the tripod and that'll do the job now I've got some 40 by 40 aluminium tube and I've bolted that on there I'm not sure whether that's the, the final finish there yet and I've been using this here with just a camera on a on a gorilla pod style thing which is kind of okay but you still got a duck under it and I thought maybe an extension or a slider or a, a telescope sort of attachment here would be great but I haven't thought about it what I'm going to do is get two pieces of this and put a hinge in them so that I can put, pick this up right out of the way if I need to or I can put it down to look underneath something or I can put it out of the way and use a bit of long reach to to get in beside me when I'm working and I won't have to step around it hopefully so let's get started well I've marked these out these are bits of aluminium I found in a scrapyard for a dollar and I think he threw them in with some other stuff in Tasmania it's just aluminium, it's three, yeah, I think it's three millimetres thick. I'm making four bits up like this for hinges. And I've cut one out and we're going to cut the rest out. Well, I've got the four of them cut out. I've got a love-hate relationship with scroll cut, scroll saws, really. This one's all right. It's probably an Aldi special. It's... It's variable control, which is great. And it's nice and solid in, in the boom. The table lets it down a bit because you've got this sort of rock in here that I don't like.
because I just realised that there's a screw missing. It's probably got something to do with it. We might have to find something to put in there. I've made this timber piece for the middle. It had a plastic one in it that was quite thin. Um, and I found it was pretty useless because it would bounce up and down. But I've made this one out of two bits of, or a bit of Bernie board and a bit of MDF or something. And put some screws in it to hold it together. It's got a smaller hole in the middle and it doesn't seem to vibrate quite as much. That's helped it considerably. But anyway, I've got them cut out and it's probably still the quickest way to do it that I've got in this workshop at the moment. They need a bit of a clean up. Uh, time for some work with the file. And they'll make two hinge arms like this for the gantry. So that's the next job is to clean these up with a file. I've drilled one out with three holes for two eighth pop rivets. Should be plenty enough to hold that in place. I'm going to put a pivot bolt in this end with a couple of thumb screws. So they go one each side of the, of the piece of square tube. I've got some 40 by 40 angle, 40 by 40 by 1.9 tube there. And the other ones go one each side of the other piece. So I've got a, an arm that pivots in the middle, hopefully. Anyway, clean up time and some file time. And we'll see how they end up. So I've spent 20 minutes, I guess, filing these up nice. I've got friends who think a file's hard work and probably there must be an easy way to do it and you could set it up in a miller machine or a shaper or in the tool post to the lathe and mill it off or something like that um, you still got to clean it up afterwards and you might get a nice accurate and precise job but there's not a lot of point in it what I'm going to do now is drill these the three online and separate them and we should have four parts that are going to do the job. I've split them and drilled them and given them a bit of a clean up. This blue's nasty stuff and it gets all over everything. A bit of metho should fix it but doesn't seem to be very effective. And I've got two pairs of of hinges which are going to look like that and go together it should give us an angle of about probably that much and we've got a piece of square tube this way and a piece of square tube this way so that that should if we need to work in close we can we can step underneath the the boom is the idea and if we need to to work a bit distance or we need arm we can move the move the tripod back so that's coming together well I've got some pop rivets so I'm going to pop rivet these on the arm next yep they should be plenty good enough to hold the camera up four of them each end so that's one end done. I haven't got another piece of square tube. I hope Bunnings still have this size. I'll go and get a bit probably tomorrow. But that looks all nice and secure and solid and everything. And I think the next thing probably is to make a, a decent hand wheel for this so that I can screw it on without messing around with the spanner down that hole. It's quarter inch rip worth so I might make a brass hand nut. <coughs> or a... Um, I've got a bit of aluminium there, might be the thing. And make a hand nut to screw down through the top so it's easy to take on and off and move and tighten up. And we might drill a hole in this end here uh, just for a some sort of a light fitting or an attachment. I'm not sure what we're going to do there, but 
that might be something else. We need a few more lights out here on the boom. So that's what I've been up. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for part two and we'll get it all up and running.